Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is House of Honor. Beloved family, our text says, Avoid sexual immorality. Every sin that a person can do is committed outside the body. Except those who engage in sexual immorality commit sin against their own bodies. Or don't you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? Don't you know that you have the Holy Spirit of God and you don't belong to yourselves? You have been bought and paid for. So honor God with your body. 1 Corinthians 6, 18-20 When we invite people over to our house or home, we expect them to be respectful of our property, right? We don't expect them to come over and start tearing up stuff, destroying our houses. What would happen if you invite someone over to your house and they did that? What would your reaction be? No doubt you would kick them out, some of us more forcefully than others. We take care and honor our houses so we expect others to do the same. But if others came over and saw us not honoring our houses, tearing up and destroying our own stuff, we invite them to do the same. If we don't care about our own house, why should they? Have you ever watched the show Hoarders? I'm ashamed to admit I have. Sometimes I sit there in disbelief about how some people dishonor their own homes. It's a sad situation, but if they don't honor their own house, no one else will. Now that I have painted that picture in your mind, our judgmental response would probably be, I would never dishonor my house like that. But would King Jesus agree with you? Will the Holy Spirit agree with you? Is your house in the condition that is acceptable to the Holy Spirit of God? Our opening text plainly says, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and you don't belong to yourself. Paul didn't say your body is the house, but the temple. That's a whole other level of house because the temple is where we expect to find all things holy, things separated and set apart unto God. And residing in our temple is the landlord, the Holy Spirit. Now that we understand how God views our bodies, our house as a temple, can we still say that we honor our houses? We abuse our houses in so many ways, but every sin we commit is done outside the body. And our text says the one sin that we commit against our own bodies is sexual immorality. Sex outside of the kingdom marriage union is immoral. Now I know that's not the popular view in today's society, but I'm not called to be popular. When we are disobedient to God, we are in sin. But when we are obedient, it is an act of worship to our king, for he desires obedience over sacrifice. When Christ met the Samaritan woman at the well, he said, At one time the Jews go to worship in a temple, and you Samaritans worship in the mountains. But a day has come when you can worship God anywhere, for the temple is our bodies. We worship God anywhere and everywhere we are. We were bought at a price. That price was the blood of King Jesus Christ, the sacrificial lamb of God. Therefore, we are to honor God in our houses, our bodies. And we show gratefulness to the one who owns the house, the landlord. We give him praise and worship with every breath. David said, let anyone who have breath praise the Lord. Everyone who is still alive in their houses, in their bodies, in their temples can praise the Lord. Those who are no longer present in their houses or bodies can no longer praise the Lord. This is why the scripture says the dead cannot praise God. 
We don't own our houses. They belong to God. But listen, many of us have mortgaged or sell our houses to an unauthorized purchaser, the Satan who disguises himself as an angel of light. He is nothing more than an exiled cherub pretending to be the owner or Lord. He comes to us and promises to help us build our houses, promises a home renovation loan. But his intent is for us to destroy our houses and burn it down. We all have seen the destruction that a fire can do to a house. It burns it to ashes. With that picture in mind, we can appreciate the truth of ashes to ashes. But family, it is the Holy Spirit that renews our house, renovates our house through the renewing of our mind. King Jesus came back to reclaim his house, the body of Christ, the bodies that are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Our Lord of Lords says we're supposed to run his house, his temple, our bodies he loaned us. But many of us sold it or mortgaged it to Lucifer who is acting as a mortgage broker. King Jesus' question to you and I this morning is how can we sell and mortgage his house that we are renting? We don't own the deed to our own bodies. God does. And his son Jesus Christ came back to reclaim the house we sold. Ah, listen, because we let the strong man come into the house, God had to send Christ to bind him, declare him illegal and cast him out of our temples. We are to honor and worship God in our bodies, our temples daily. How would you feel in your own house if any of your children ignore you six days a week? Not a word of thanks for anything, not even thank you for the food you provide. Except one day of the week, you may get some praise and thank you, only to be ignored the next six days. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Yes, it feels that way even saying it. But have you ever considered that this may be what some of us do to our Heavenly Father all the time? We go to church on Sunday to praise and thank Him for an hour, and then maybe if we are not too busy or tired, we may attend Bible study on Wednesday. But we don't acknowledge or thank him for any of the days of the week. How would you feel if your children treated you that way? In closing, Paul says in Romans 12.1, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. So ensure, family, that your body, your temple, is a house of honor and not of ill repute. Much love.